Did you know that China is on its way to building the most powerful mega dam on the planet? It's unlike anything the world has ever seen before. Imagine a gigantic dam that can power an entire country for a full year, yet so complicated because of its insane remote location. Say hello to China's $100 billion Himalayan mega dam project. Scheduled to be erected in the secluded Tibetan plateau, this is a first of its kind hydroelectric undertaking that could shift all of Asia's powers forever. Curious about this massive project? Then stay tuned. In the next few minutes, we'll uncover China's audacious plan to build the world's most powerful dam. From the specs to the conflict it may cause, and to the intense challenges that lie ahead. Ready? Let's dive in. If there is one thing that China is known for, it's her daring engineering prowess. From building the infamous Three Gorges Dam, to establishing over 87,000 dams across its beautiful landscape, China leaves no tables unturned when it comes to generating hydroelectric power. However, their previous engineering feats shadow in comparison to the latest ambitious project on its radar, the Himalayan Mega Dam. Also known as the Super Dam, this project is aimed at generating over 60 gigawatts of hydroelectric power. This is roughly three times what the Three Gorges Dam produces when combined. It is said that if this Super Dam is completed, it could produce enough clean electricity to power the UK for an entire year. Incredible, right? But what water source is China planning to use for this near impossible feat? Enter the Yarlung Changpo River, also known as the Brahmaputra in India and Bangladesh. Located on the 14,000 FT High Tibetan Plateau, this is the highest major river in the world, flowing over 1,000 kilometers before emptying into the Indian Ocean. China has its eyes set on the Yarlung Changpo Gorge, a highly remote region, as its target site for the dam. What's interesting about this area is that it is three times deeper than the Grand Canyon and filled with natural wonders and significant biodiversity. It's a unique blend of special wildlife worth preserving, rocky hills, and a landscape prone to natural disasters. For a project like the Super Dam to be erected here, China's engineering limits will be tested. Starting with this, how in the world do they plan to transport construction materials to? One of the most inaccessible gorges in Tibet? Notwithstanding, China's drive to build such a monumental dam does not stem from national clout. This is a nation in dire need of clean energy. With a population of over 1.4 billion people, the majority of China's current electricity is generated by burning coal. And in 2024, this is the kind of electricity generating method that a country's government can get called out for due to its unhealthy impact. So this leaves China under pressure to reduce its carbon emission footprint while also meeting its energy demands sustainably. The Himalayan Mega Dam is not only a crucial step towards achieving this goal, but it could also shift the geopolitical power balance in South Asia. Do you wonder how the super dam can alter the geopolitical power balance in that region? Here's how. China has two neighbors, India and Bangladesh. Both countries rely heavily on the waters of the Yarlung Sangpo Chibramaputra River for agriculture, drinking water, and hydropower. If the dam's construction kicks off, it could alter the river's flow and disrupt the flow of water downstream. Since China announced its plan to build the Super Dam in 2021 during its 14th five-year plan, India and Bangladesh have expressed concerns about the dam's potential impact on their water security. In the context of climate change, which is already making water flows more unpredictable, the dam could make water scarcity even worse. Take a closer look, and you'll see that this project is not just about generating electricity, it's also about who controls one of Asia's most critical water sources, for China, controlling the Yarlung Sangpo River aligns with its broader strategic goals. The Tibetan Plateau, often referred to as the Water Tower of Asia, is the source of major rivers that support billions of people across multiple countries. By constructing a dam with the biggest river on this plateau, China gains an upper hand over its neighbors, reinforcing its position as a regional power. But that's not all. The mega dam construction will be a gateway for China to fully transition into renewable energy. 
This project is a clear signal of China's intention to lead in green technology, despite the inherent risks and challenges. However, the geopolitical tensions it might spark could lead to diplomatic strains. With the plans for the dam on the rise, new agreements on transboundary water management are also on the rise as well. But if you think that the potential benefits of this super dam make the process of building it easy peasy, you couldn't be more wrong. The engineering challenges of the Himalayan mega dam are just as formidable as its ambitions. Remember the Yarlung Shangpo Gorge, the target site for the dam? This is one of the most remote and inaccessible areas in the world. Engineering experts say that the area is prone to natural disasters, including massive earthquakes and landslides. This poses questionable hurdles to the construction and long-term stability of the dam. Another one of these hurdles is transporting construction materials to such a remote location. Until 2013, the area lacked a major road. How then does China plan to successfully implement logistics for this project? Let's not forget to add that the steep descent of the river, which drops more than 2,000 meters in altitude as it curves around the Namcha Barwa mountain, also aggravates the complexity of the project. But as a solution, engineering experts have suggested two main construction methods. The first is to build a cascade of dams down the gorge, which could severely impact the region's biodiversity. The second, which is a more likely option, is to dig a tunnel from the highest to the lowest point of the river, allowing water to flow through and generate power. This method, known as a run of the river system, avoids creating large reservoirs but involves boring a tunnel through Namcha Barwa Mountain a 50-kilometer-long endeavor. But regardless of the chosen construction method, the project's seismic risk cannot be overstated. This is because the Yarlung Tsangpo Gorge sits on the Indus Tsangpo Suture Zone, a tectonically active region. In 1950, an 8.6-magnitude earthquake hit the area, causing landslides that blocked the river for eight days. Now imagine the magnitude of the disaster that could hit the area once the construction of the super dam begins. But do you know that the engineering setbacks are just one of the few concerns surrounding the Superdam project? Just behind the controversial engineering debates are the roaring arguments of the environmentalists. While it is true that the Yarlung Changpo Gorge is remote, it is also home to rich biodiversity. Scientists are still discovering new species in this region, and any large-scale construction could disrupt these ecosystems. To the local wildlife and plant species in this Yarlung Shangpo region, building the super dam poses an immense threat. The construction process, which involves the creation of reservoirs and rechanneling of river flows, can lead to habitat loss while changing the local climate for good. The good thing is, these negative impacts can be curbed by the run of the Unriver system, which avoids creating large reservoirs. If China chooses this method, of course, However, this approach still involves significant construction and disruption to the natural landscape. The uniqueness of the region is at stake, and careful planning and execution are required to reduce the environmental impacts. Moreover, the project's impact extends beyond the immediate area. Downstream regions in India and Bangladesh could experience changes in water availability and quality. This could affect their agriculture, drinking water supplies, and local ecosystems. Environmental groups argue that China should probably stick to other forms of renewable energy that have less environmental impact, such as solar and wind power. But will China listen to such counsel? Seeing their goal to be carbon neutral by 2060, balancing the need for clean energy with the need to preserve one of the world's most biodiverse regions will prove to be one heck of a challenge for China. However, there are implications far deeper than the engineering and environmental challenges combined. It's the socio-cultural implications of constructing the super dam in the highly revered Yarlung Shangpo Gorge. This gorge is not just an environmental wonder, it also holds deep cultural and spiritual significance. To the local Tibetan communities, they believe that the river embodies the spirit of a goddess. The gorge itself is believed to contain hidden entrances to the spiritual world, making it a place of pilgrimage and reverence. Add such spiritual reverence to the fear of physical displacement held by the ethnic groups inhabiting the area, and you have potential backlash brewing underground. Although the successful completion of this dam promises a massive hydroelectric energy supply, there is still anxiety regarding the project. Citizens worry that the super dam will not only alter the landscape, 
but also erode the cultural heritage of the region. Relocation of villages, loss of traditional lands, and reshaping the social fabric of these communities. All pretty high stakes for the people who inhabit that region. The socio-cultural implications of the dam project are a silent yet loud cry to the Chinese government on the need for inclusive decision-making as they proceed with the mega dam construction. But despite the engineering, environmental, and socio-cultural challenges, the Himalayan mega dam project remains a hallmark of technological innovation. The sheer scale and complexity of the project signifies one thing. Cutting-edge engineering solutions and advancements in construction are well underway. Standing at the forefront of these advancements is the proposed run of the river system. This method involves boring a tunnel through the Namsha Barwa mountain and erecting over nine power stations. In turn, this allows water to flow through and generate electricity. Estimated to be 50 kilometers long, the tunnel would carry 2,000 cubic meters of water per second, generating up to 300 billion kilowatt hours of electricity annually. This by far surpasses the electricity output of the Three Gorges Dam, making it the most powerful hydroelectric facility in the world. As well as the rub of the river system, experts foresee that the construction will also feature advanced seismic engineering to mitigate the risks of earthquakes. The dam's design will most likely use construction techniques and materials strong enough to withstand seismic activity. And even before these earthquakes and landslides occur, there would be advanced monitoring systems in place to detect and promptly respond to them. And what about the means of transporting construction materials to the remote Tibetan area? Apart from constructing roads and tunnels through the region, the Chinese government would also undertake aerial delivery systems and modular construction methods to meet up with logistics demands. This just proves one thing the Himalayan mega dam is not just an engineering marvel. If pulled off successfully, this super dam would be a testament to human ingenuity and the advancement of tech. Currently, China is pretty silent about how it's going to build the mega dam. However, they have estimated its cost to be over $100 billion, leaving the rest of the world to wallow in speculation about the construction plans. The results of such speculation are rumors that China might be laying low to prevent backlash from neighboring countries. While it is true that the amount of hydroelectric power produced by the super dam is unlike anything the world has ever seen, there is no denying the engineering, environmental, and socio-cultural challenges the Chinese government might face when the construction begins. Will China pull it off, though? There's only one way to find out. As the world keeps evolving, China remains unrivaled in the construction of remarkable dams. But of all their gems, the Himalayan mega dam pushes the limits of engineering technology the most. What do you think about this project? Tell us in the comments below. If you enjoyed this deep dive into China's mega dam, don't forget to like and subscribe for more exciting videos.